Hi, and welcome to another Type With Me Code Llama in Visual Studio Code. So, if we go to the website olama.ai, you'll see that we have something that can run uh, Llama 2, Code Llama, and other models on our local machine right so what you could do then is very easily do download then you will see that you get some kind of steps to make it run on your local machine right so when you go to the website of um, meta you'll see that you get some kind of an info about introducing code llama an AI tool for coding and one of the things that I want to do in this video is see how I could can use this tool within Visual Studio code so if you now go to the uh, terminal you can then very easily use all llama pull code llama so if we push on enter you'll see that you will get our model, the code llama model. Of course, this can take a while, so um, bear with me. It can, um, yeah, take some time. So I'm just gonna uh, pause this uh, recording and see you uh, in some kind of seconds. So after the complete download, you should get this screen with yeah, certain packages that you need to download to get Code Llama on your Mac. So the plugin that we are going to use is Continue and it's the open source autopilot for software development. What you could do then is just click here on uh, the download button right and then you come here and you can say hey I want to install this um, extension towards Visual Studio Code 2 I'm going to open it I say OK and here we go he's opening it and you can very easily do install so it's now installing it So we have a config.py and that config.py is for the continue dev uh, server and here you can change things and for using the code llama we need to change the config.py you can find the config.py in your home folder uh, of mac uh, with slash dot continue slash config.py so now we can very easily um, import something from Ulama, right? And then of course I need to go down and there we can see which models we want to use. And of course we don't want to use GPT-4 or GPT-3.5 Turbo. We want to use something else. So I'm going to search for that so that we can replace it with the right uh, model configuration. So we're going to remove this and this. We're going to do this. I'm going to save it, right? And then, of course, he says that we need to reload, continue, use code llama in Visual Studio. So going to reload it here we go and now he should have uh, the right settings for that and then we can go here for continue and we could ask him certain things so I'm gonna ask how can I use ng content in angular question mark going to see 
what he's going to do with that. And now he's just generating an answer from code llama. Of course, you can very easily read it too. Um, so you could also say, hey, I want to load the book bookmarked um, uh, context. Um, here you see then which kind of um, yeah, a large language model we are using. So in this case, we just have one. Uh, we can do a new session. We can go for our history. We can use the docs. We can have feedback and we can do settings, right? So that's it. We have now um, a chat where we can ask questions for uh, using that within our development process. I think that's nice. I am hoping that um, Olama will also come to Windows because uh, at my job, at my daily job, I'm using a Windows uh, PC and so I cannot use this. But I think it would be very interesting or very useful. Um, but okay, for now I maybe can just use another window um, in Chrome and go for that. It's really nice because one of the things that I see here is that you can, for example, quit uh, Llama. But you guys cannot see that. But on my screen I have an icon of uh, Llama and then I can say quit Llama. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're also going to play a little bit with uh, code Llama. If you have played with it and you have some kind of nice suggestions that other people can use within Visual Studio Code or how do you use um, code chatbots like this, uh, well, please help me out. Uh, it can help me but also other people um, to write better code and do their job uh, better. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I see you next time.